वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन जीरो राइट सो आई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई होप यू गाइज इंजॉय द डेमो विच आई जस्ट शोड यू एंड येस यू गेज इट राइट द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इट इज रियल टाइम ऑडियो रिकोगशन येस गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस वेरी कूल मशीन लर्निंग प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वॉट टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इन इट एंड द टेक्नोलॉजी इज टेंसर फ्लो डॉट जे एस so guys if you want me to continue making these cool tutorials and these videos then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications and do tell me in the comments below how you like this video and if you have any feedback for me for the future content as well so let's get started so guys as i told you that in this video i used tensorflow js to create an audio recognition web browser page Uh, but why i use tensorflow dot js so obviously if you have been studying machine learning for a while you know that for audio recognition video recognition real time object recognition there are lot of python libraries available in the market and you can use them uh, pretty easily but uh, most of the times you need a very high configuration in your system you might need a gpu you might need some good uh, other things but for me my system is not having such high configuration and that is why i was looking for a technology which was very lightweight and easier for me to implement and understand as well and thereby i found tensorflow.js so tensorflow.js is just like any javascript library you can just import it in your html and you will be able to do these uh, video recognition audio recognition and have all these machine learning models if you want to do any type of machine learning project so that is the reason why i chose this but definitely if you want to learn more about it please go to this site tensorflow.org/js i will put the link in the description below and you will be able to Uh, learn a lot more about it you can go through a lot more tutorials as well so in this demo i will just be showing you how i created the web page which i just showed you in the demo so first of all if you want to create any web page the first thing you have to do is to write your html okay so i will just show you the html which i wrote for this demo so the first thing is i created some sort of folder in which i have this file called as index dot html i will open it in notepad and you will see that how i have written this file so the first tag is the html tag and then we have got the head tag so inside the head tag there is always a script tag and you see in the script tag we are having some tensorflow libraries here the first library is the tensorflow tfjs and the second library is tensorflow models speech commands so the first library is generally tensorflow js library which you definitely need if you want to use any of the tensorflow models and the next thing is tensorflow speech command model so guys the thing is that if you want to do any right so in this project what we are doing we are predicting or we are recognizing that this particular spoken word is a one two or whatever that word is right we were recognizing that in our demo so whenever you are trying to recognize something or you are trying to predict something you are doing that with the help of a trained model okay so in this case we are using a pre trained model so this speech command model is a model which is provided to us by the tensorflow library and we are just using that so we are we can create a model of our own and we can import our own audio recognition model in our javascript page and it is pretty easy at all but uh, in this video we are just going to use a pre trained model so as to keep it simple and short okay so this is the speech command model which we have imported the next is the body part in which i've just put um in image and the important thing is this div here 
this div is actually going to display the text which is being recognized by the model okay so the idea of this div is console and we are just going to add text or to replace the text of this div the the last part is this script which is index.js so guys this index.js is our own javascript file which we will be creating and this javascript file is just going to use this speech command model and it is going to change the text of this console div here so let's see how it does that so let, you can easily see that index.js file is also at the same position at the same place where i have placed the index.html so you can see that in this place i have index.js so i can just open it with the help of notepad and once you open it, you can see that the first thing I have done in index.js is declaring a variable which is called as recognizer. So what this recognizer is, this is uh, just your model which you are going to use to predict the word which is spoken to your browser. So if you have uh, read about my data science practice with Kaggle video there, I taught you that there is a model which basically has two functions, model.train and then model.predict. So this recognizer is basically just going to be a model for you, which is going to predict the spoken word. Okay, so you can obviously name this variable anything. Here I have named it as recognizer. Now, after declaring this variable, we have created this function called as predict word, but we will not go into this function yet. We will just minimize it. And first we will see something called as app. So this async function app, is a function which is an asynchronous function and we have even called it here so that as and when my application will start this function will start to get executing and it will run in the background okay so this function will start running in the background and then what this function is doing is this function is taking speech commands and we are creating a model here and we are storing that uh, recognizer model into our recognizer object and once that object is assigned we are just waiting that our model gets loaded into our browser so that is why this await keyword is there that we are awaiting that this model is loaded once the model is loaded then we are calling the predict word function now let's see what predict word function does so the first line in the predict word function is words equals to recognizer dot word labels. So what is this word labels? So first of all, your recognizer is now a model. It is a trained model which can recognize a set of words. But the question is what set of words your model can recognize, right? It is trained on what set of words. So this recognizer dot word labels is basically giving you the array of those words that the recognizer is able to recognize, that the recognizer is trained to recognize. And the next thing is that we are just console.logging this here, so we can skip that. And the important thing here is now we are doing something called as recognizer.listen. So we are adding a listener to the recognizer model. And what this listener means that as and when my uh, my page will run whenever i will open my web page my model will start to listen okay it will start to recognize words and as it starts to listen in this argument i will get a set of scores i will get a collection of scores so i will just give an example what this score is so let's suppose i say a word called as one Okay, because in the demo I was saying numbers from 1 to 9. So let's suppose I say a number called as 1. Okay, now how much this spoken word, let's just make this a comment here for more clarity. So how much this word, this word which is called as 1 is actually matching to the words which are trained by the model. Okay, so let's suppose my model recognizes words from 1 to 9. So obviously one matches with the word one a hundred percent, right? So I can just give that the probability of one matching with the word one is hundred. It's hundred percent or it's completely one. This is the probability. But what is the probability of word one matching with the word two? 
so if i say that this one is actually a little bit matching to the word two in terms of syllables and uh, what is the probability that it is matching with two it is maybe two percent so so the probability will become 0 0.02 okay and how much it matches with three and let's suppose it further less matching matches with three so with three it is 0 0.01 probability so you see what as soon as my model starts to listen it gets a variable of scores and this scores is actually nothing but it is the probability of that spoken word being matched to all the other words in the word dot labels in this constant words array okay so i have now got that probability i've got a list of probability i've got the list of words and what i am here doing is i am just matching or i am just creating a key value pair of score and word so this is nothing but it is just taking my scores collection and then it is just mapping that for every score s and for every of its index just make sure that this score and this word become the key value pair okay so what will happen here this particular collection will turn something into like this so it will be one one and two and the probability is 0 0.02 and then three and the probability is 0 0.01 so basically this line will create a sort of map so this will create a sort of map of key value pairs in which we will be getting the word and its corresponding probability the next line is we are simply sorting this map on the basis of its score value so on the basis of this probability we are sorting this map and obviously this map is sorted in the descending order so the word with the highest probability will be on the top and the word with the lower probability <coughs> will be down <clears throat> okay so once you have sorted this array then simply we are using document dot query selector and in this we are passing the id of the div so if you remember in my index.html we had a id div which was console so we are just selecting that div here and we are replacing its text content with the word with the highest probability so this is the word at scores zero so zero means that it is the first word that means it is having the highest probability and we are simply converting this into a uppercase value so just uppercase for to make it more prominent and then finally we are closing this function so as soon as my recognizer will start listening to words it will start matching the probabilities for each and every word in the model and then it will simply select the one with the highest probability here so this one is selected and then it is displayed to us on the browser now you will say what is this probability threshold here so there is one more argument which is passed to this listen function which is the probability threshold so this probability threshold 90 actually means that my model my this recognizer model will run or it will change the value of this console text content only when the word which is matching to that a uh, spoken word is having a probability of 90% or more than 90%. So for example in this case I spoke one right now one matches with one 100%. So that is okay but let's suppose I had said some word like uh, like pizza right now pizza doesn't matches uh, with one two three or any numerals right pizza is like matching with when only like 40 percent so the probability is only 40 percent in that case for this word my recognizer didn't found didn't find any word with more than 90 percent of probability so that is why it will not run this query selector method and it will not change the text content but if it finds any word with 
90 percent or more than 90 percent of probability it will change the word and change the display on the ui okay so i hope you guys get it we can definitely change this we can if you if you want our prediction to be more flexible we can reduce its value so maybe we can reduce it to 70 percent if we want our prediction to be highly highly exact then we can increase this value to 95 percent so we can play with this value as long as we want okay now you just simply save it and once you have saved this then you go to your folder and you simply run your html file so open with chrome and you will see that you will get some sort of prompt here that this file wants to use your microphone so you have to allow it and once i will allow this i will start saying words like one two three four and then this uh, ui will start printing it here let's see one right left two three up down okay so i guess <laughs> i guess that is clear to you now and if we just see the f12 output here then uh, you see that this array of words is getting printed and i hope it is visible to you so you see that this array of words is having all the numerals from uh, 9 to 0 or 0 to 9 and then we have uh, left right down go you know all these are so if i say anything like uh, up down right right left then you see that it correctly prints it but sometimes definitely it confuses uh, right with eight or uh, nine with something else because these words are having similar syllables right so definitely if you want to make your probability threshold more accurate you can just simply increase it so for example from 70 i can increase it to 90 and in that case uh, these mistakes will definitely you can prevent them so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial a lot much i will be providing this code in the github link as well uh, very soon please go and try it out and i hope you like this video and if you do then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications till then thank you so much everyone stay home stay safe and bye bye